dollar stock would just drop. So if you're asking what the heck happened, you're not alone. The CEOs of Robinhood, Reddit, and all the major players in this wild story were on Capitol Hill today testifying in front of the House Financial Services Committee. Well, to answer all of the questions that we don't know the answers to, here today is Congressman David Kustoff, a member of that committee. Uh, Congressman, uh, admittedly, I don't know. I, I still haven't figured this all out. This is not my area. So explain what this issue was really all about and why you guys had a hearing on it today. Well, Sean, thank you very much, and thanks for having me on. I guess to roll back even just a little bit further, I think that we should all applaud Robin Hood for the fact that they made, uh, made kind of the democratization of, of stock trading, that okay. small individual investors could come in and, and not only do it cheaply, but trade for, for free. And they, they and others helped set the stage where now most major discount brokerages don't charge anything for, for commissions for trading stocks. And I think we should all applaud that, and that's part of the American innovation. The problem, and you did a really good job of explaining, the problem <laughs> was that you, well, you did. Thank uh, you. You had, you had a hedge fund that shorted the stock, and their opinion was, and I heard what you said earlier, that uh, GameStop may be the, the next blockbuster. <laughs> you know, they're the last retail brick and mortar store that sells these video games and video consoles. Now you had a guy who was on Reddit, which is a which is an online forum under uh, one of the bulletin boards, Wall Street Bets. And he he has the screen name Roaring Kitty. And Roaring Kitty became an expert on GameStop. He's a guy that uh, had been in and out, out of jobs, got a good job with Mass Mutual about a year ago, but was a devoted GameStop uh, uh, customer, according to, to his testimony. Okay. He believed in GameStop, and he thought that the experts, these big hedge funds, were all wrong about GameStop. And he promoted that on Reddit and online forums, bought it up, and bet against the big guys, drove the, drove the price up. He's worth between 40 and $50 million now, according to his testimony. It's absolutely amazing. It is amazing. And it was very successful. Now, to me, one of the problems was that Robinhood, uh, this free online trading app, okay. had to suspend trading for their customers as the stock price was going wild. So if, if you had a brokerage account at, at Robinhood and you wanted to buy Robinhood or, I guess, sell it. Okay. Well, you mean you sell, sell game stock, right? I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. You're exactly right. Uh, because Robinhood essentially didn't have the capital requirements. They, they, they needed more money, more backup money. And um, so these, these customers were prohibited from trading for a while. Now, I asked uh, a guy, named, his, his name is Tenev. He's originally from Bulgaria, came to the United States at age five and helped create GameStop. Uh, how they misjudged uh, the, the situation and the, and the trading and he essentially said to me, this was about a one in a three and 3.5 million chance of this happening. And essentially promised that it wouldn't happen again. And so what the well, Democrats- Could you tell him if it does happen again, a little heads up to this guy? <laughs> Let Sean know. <laughs> yeah, I'll be roaring kitty too. <laughs> but Congressman, this does seem like an anomaly. It seems like this doesn't happen normally. So what was the point of the hearing today? What are you hoping to address from this specific situation moving yeah. forward? Well, it's really what Maxine Waters and the Democrats want to have happen. They want more regulation. Yeah, and, sure. and I think they want to crowd out the small investor and, and price him or her out, put up all types of, of roadblocks. And... I think that's wrong. I think probably most people see that, that that's wrong. But they essentially want to uh, create more regulations through the SEC, through the Securities and Exchange Commission. And so, uh, Lindsay, we're going to have one or two more hearings on this on this very issue to uh, uh, to probably make it where these small individual traders. Uh, you know, average profile in their 20s or early 30s with a brokerage account of $10,000 have higher hurdles to trade. And, th and that concerns me. But just to be clear, it, it seems funny. I, we're almost out of time. 
But it seems like the Democrats are backing the big business, which is not the normal political narrative, right? It, it, it is, but, you know, maybe a Democrat who doesn't love more regulation, who well, doesn't think that the government <laughs> Good point. their job in the markets of uh, trying to police the situation. You know, to me, if you're an account holder, if you're a small investor, if you don't think Robin Hood does a good job, then go somewhere else. There are plenty of other uh, online brokers that can do the job and do it well. You know, the other issue is, is that essentially an app like Robinhood can do this for the customer because they get paid uh, for what's called an order flow. So if you, if you place your trade through Robinhood, somebody else is paying Robinhood essentially for the benefit of, of trading it. And one thing that came out of today's hearing was, as far as Robinhood is concerned, which is a private company, yeah. their main source of revenue is through these fees that they generate through the order flow. Okay. And to me, it was very... So what, what the big takeaway is, I should stick to mutual funds and because <laughs> <laughs> this is so far over my head. Uh, Congressman, thank you for coming and shedding light on this situation because I know so many people are talking about it and I often just stare and shake my head and I'm like, yeah, yeah, that totally makes sense. Thank you for breaking it down in a way that I think people finally can get. Thanks to both of you for having me. You bet. Look forward to seeing you soon. All right.